Um, today I want to talk about uh, how to travel to Gabon. You know, so many people actually, so many people have been asking me like, how it, how can it can really come to Gabon? Especially those people like in in America and Europe, you know, in foreign countries, you know, in, or those in general abroad. Most of those people abroad have been asking me like, I'm high. How can we come to Gabon? What are the process? What are the procedures that we need? To do, what are the things that we need to do before we can travel to Gabon? Okay, so if you are that person now who have been waiting, you know, you have been looking for ways to how you can visit Gabon, you know, without no stress and so that you cannot fall in the hands of, you know, actually you cannot fall in the hands of, you know, dubious people or in the hands of fake people, fake website. So this video is for you. Just sit back, relax yourself, and make sure you watch the video to the end because I'll be telling you, I'll be reviewing you guys so many places where you come to Gabon, how um, where you can visit as a tourist, and how you can also get your visa so quickly and so easily. Firstly, if you want to come to Gabon, you have to know that first of all, you have to know that Gabon is located in Africa. To be special, to be <clears throat> to be to be specific, in Central Africa. Gabon is located in Central Africa, along the coastal area of Central Africa, and it's a country that is probably had about two point two point. Some people say it's like there's no normally the statistics says that it's two point six million, but normally we know that it's more than it's more than that. You know, we are more than two point two. We are more than there are more than two point six million. If you want to check, it should be like three point something. But because it's not everybody, I'm not counting everybody. But let's just assume. Let's just take the statistics from there. You know from the government as they said it's 2.6 million so yeah without me not wasting much of your time let me just dive instead to the video I want, I want to tell you guys how you can actually come to Gabon you're living abroad you know that by traveling to Africa is not really that easy some people I know so many people have been thinking about you no know, you know they are being scared of falling into dubious house they are being scared of being scammed they are also being scared of you know really coming to africa because they're scared about the security um, um, you know level about africa especially gabon and so many people also lack more information about you know gabon in general um first thing you have to know is that if you want to visit gabon as a tourist or you're coming to gabon to work or you're coming to gabon to school whatsoever thing that you're coming to gabon to do right this concern everybody, even what so it doesn't matter what what type of things that you're coming to Gabon to do. It doesn't really actually matter about what you're coming to Gabon to do. All it's just that this this um, um this thing this trick that I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys, it is the same trick that if you use it, you're gonna find yourself in Gabon. And so many people think like you know most of most uh you know most countries in Africa are corrupt. Most especially in the uh, at the airport, you know when you land. At the airport, like people are called asking you for some, you know, bribe or stuff before they can give you, they can put you an entry on your passport. Okay, the first thing that you need to know is when you're coming to Gabon. Firstly, there are also, there are just two ways you can you want to come to Gabon. You can pass either through France, um, or you pass through um, uh, Rwanda, or you pass through Ethiopia, or you can come to Cameroon, or you, you can also come to Gabon. Um, you can by using any of the Sema countries, any of the six. Any of the only of the five, there are many five countries that are in the Semak zone. You know, actually, that one also is a member of Semak. You know, Semak is being command of six countries. We have Central Africa in Cop, Central Africa Republic, we have Chad, we have Cameroon, we have Equatorial Guinea, and we have Congo. Then the Gabon itself making it six. So these countries you can you can come to Gabon by through this all these countries. But if you are somebody who is in abroad and you only want to come to Gabon, um what you have to do is that you have to first of all go online and check the the status, the visa status, the, the entry, the visa entry status of your country, of your nationality, of your passport. It doesn't depend. But the one I know for the US is the visa upon arrival. But for Central African Republic, for for Semak countries is um within Semak countries is visa free. I know there are also some countries in Africa. So we have some also some countries in Africa that. For them to come to Gabon is visa free. You have to check if it's visa free or visa upon arrival. And so many people does not know about it. They don't really know the difference between visa free and visa upon arrival. Visa free simply means that you don't need a visa. All you need to do is to pay your flight. Um, you know, a little two that's go go and come in. You have to pay your flight. You have to make sure you have your yellow card. And now that we are in the period, or we are on, we are in the pandemic period. You have to make sure you have your corona. 
test with you also alongside you also make, make sure that you have um, some cash with you and you have already booked a place to stay be it airbnb be it a hotel whatsoever or you have somebody that will be receiving you in the country then that you can you know let's say start preparing for your journey to come you can take the road and start coming to Gabon. But for the US citizen, is it's visa open arrival. Visa open arrival means that when you, for those US citizens, if you want to come to Gabon, what you need to do is just like, uh, I think like what you what you are doing is just like, you know, when you come, you have um, um, a fee. There's a fee about $75. I think so, right? It should be $75. I think, uh, yeah, it should be $75. Close to $75 to $80, you know. That you're going to pay they're going to give you the visa depending on what you go but you have to they're going to they're going to they're going to ask you the hotel what that you have booked they're going to ask you where you're going to if you know exactly where you're going to and some few questions of the immigration but not that difficult they're not going to really stress you up that way much and my main advice i want to tell you is that if you want to come to Gabon, it's always good that you should have like a tall guy or somebody that you know you come in and the person is going to be like your guy you know that's just what I can really, 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 really tell you if you really have, if especially if you are somebody who is not used to of traveling in Africa or particularly you have never traveled in any of the countries in Africa, you live abroad and it is your first time of coming, you want, it is your first time of traveling to Africa and you choose Gabon as your first destination in Africa, to visit in Africa. So that's how it is for the US citizen and for the other citizen you have to first of all check the entry but the most thing that you have to know is that you have to hold your vaccination card the yellow fever vaccination card you have to hold your coronavirus test or vaccine card whatsoever if you are taking the vaccine you have to hold the vaccine and also visa upon arrival means you're going to pay visa free means that you have to call when you come in you just need your, your flight i am going and go and come that's a little too going and coming flight that you have already booked you only just need that and your you know test be it yellow fever or coronavirus test, you know, corona test, whatsoever. Like that. That's what you actually need to come. And yeah, sometimes they might ask you if you are booking a hotel, but it doesn't that one don't, does not really matter for those those people that those people that are, that is visa free to visit Gabon. But actually, what is so really important there is about um, um, the cash. You have to make sure that you have cash because they're going to ask you. They're going to, you have to show them some cash. You have to make sure you carry some cash with you. And you know, already know that if you're a traveler, that you, you are traveling, definitely, normally you're supposed to carry some cash with you. You have to have some cash with you. So that is it. If you're planning to come to Gabon, you have to come. But if also, let me tell you guys, the next one I'm going to tell you about you, where you, where you can visit, you know, actually, some of you guys don't really know. You, you have to understand that Gabon is like a forest, it's like a, when it comes to forest reserve, you know, they are like one of Africa's leading, you know, country of forest reserve. National park, about 11.5% of the country, of the national territory, it is reserve, it is forest reserve. 11% of the total national territory, it is forest reserve. You know, we got, Gabon got so many UNESCO park. You got so many um, 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 touristic sites, like when you talk about it, I'm talking about they got elephants, lions, and you can name the rest, you know, chimpanzees, so many things that you need to see. Also history, there are some history places that you can, you can visit. You can, you have, you have, uh, there is, there's enough reason for you to visit Gabon. There's enough reason for you to visit Gabon because there's history, there are some history sites, there are some, also some good, good touristic sites. A nice place we got a hotel we got it we we're talking come and talk about like the um like peaceful a like you know security there is security you don't have to be worried about that one um let me know like you guys yeah some of you be asking like are they are, is it cheap how is it really like you know when for toys is it cheap is it cheaper for the toys to come to gabon and uh, how is it like the, for the things how is it is cheap let me tell you guys let me tell you something is that it's not cheap if you are coming in Gabon thinking that it is cheap, Gabon is not cheap. Gabon is the third most expensive country in Sub-Saharan Africa. Comes the third most expensive country in Sub-Saharan Africa. So you got to know what is that right from there. From housing, food, shop, grocery, uh, shopping, you know, expensive taxes, also expensive, you know. But let that not make you not to visit Gabon. Let that, that shouldn't be a with, that shouldn't be the problem with you not visiting Gabon. I want to assure you guys that your visit in Gabon will always, will always, 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 you know, be good and it will worth it. 
no matter how much you spend but trust me it's gonna be worth it and if you're that person who of which you are telling you like some of you have been saying like i want to come to gabon but i don't know how to speak french i'm speaking with english or i speak with other language you know what it doesn't really matter whether you speak french or not right because so many people in the country speak english so many people in the country they're already familiar with other languages whether you speak spanish whatsoever portuguese it doesn't matter so many people are really familiar with it but not that really even though like the like 98 percent of the population are, are french speakers they speak french but it doesn't mean that they don't know english there are some people who know english there are some english speakers there are some english there are some people that there are some people who definitely speak english and communication also will be easy it is it is that it is like easy and uh, people in the country are so friendly uh they will understand what you say it doesn't matter what they are. it doesn't actually matter idea where you're coming from it doesn't actually matter what you thinking it doesn't actually matter you know your your skin color you know there are no racism they're not like you know discrimination whatsoever that you can you might you must have experienced in some way but about Talking about, let me go to about um, um, corruption. I got nothing to tell about that one, but seriously, believe me when I say that it is not exactly what you guys think it is. When you plan to come to Gabon, I will urge you that you should come to Gabon and you will never regret it. You come to Gabon. And there are some other, let me give you guys some other website that if you want to see if you actually really want to visit Gabon or before you visit Gabon, you can visit this website and see what we got here. We got like, we got um, um you know you go to lonelyplanet.com lonelyplanet.com that's the other second name that they call it, gabon lonelyplanet.com you go to lonelyplanet.com i'm talking to you guys i'm looking down on my phone because this, this is a website i really know lonelyplanet.com you go to you go there, there and you see and there's so many types in gabon like they're speaking like the official which is french language which is the official language and we also got the fang we got the malin and we also got dozens of others dozens of other language of of other Bantu, Bantu languages that they have been speaking in Gabon. So also many other languages we got to take a quota. There are so many villages in Gabon. We got um, also the the, 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 the Batuis people, we got the uh, Bakota people. It does like there are so many, so many tribes in Gabon. And actually there are some tribes in Gabon that are actually meet with you know neighboring countries like Congo uh cameroon and also equatorial guinea you know um tribe that you see like you know the same language that they're speaking in this in, in the country the same language that like they, like that is, you find out the same tribe in congo you find the same tribe in cameroon you find out the same tribe in 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 in, in, in equatorial guinea so that is how it's just like you know uh we just feel like it was you know the colonial people came and you know actually change you know divide like put their those barrier but we are actually we are one people you know, if you look at it very well, you'll see that we are one people. So coming to Gabon can never ever be the problem. You just need to check your status to see your country status if you got the visa free or the visa or if you have to apply, right? For those who that is not visa upon arrival or visa um visa free. I know some of you will be saying that what about those who are people that are not visa free or visa upon arrival? Um what you have to do, you have to go to um www.onlinevisa dot com slash gabon you apply online first what you need to do you go you go www.onlinevisa slash gabon dot com you apply for the visa first you have to apply for the visa when you apply after applying for the visa if it is approved they will tell you that your visa is approved it's been approved but for those people that this this the one i'm saying is uh the, it is for those people that does not have that 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 there's no gabon embassy you know in the country but if you guys have gabon embassy in your country please i'll urge you to go to the embassy to the to the republic of gabon to the embassy the embassy of the republic uh republic republic governance to you know verify from the embassy to to see to get more inquiries on how they can, you can get your visa but for those people that they ain't got nothing because there are so many countries that um they can they, that that if they want to come to gabon they can come through visa um, um online they can they, like they apply visa online before they start coming you know make sure you go online www.visa online visa slash gabon.com then you apply for the visa okay guys i think i've you know really 
um, tell you guys a lot about this, uh, about how you can travel to Gabon. The next one, I will tell you guys where you can visit in Gabon, where the places that you can see the touristic side, most of the touristic side in Gabon, and you know the activities in Gabon. What you're gonna expect when you come to Gabon? What you should you should expect when you when you when you are planning to come to Gabon? What you should expect and what you should not expect? You know. I will tell you guys in the other next video. Please give these videos a like if you find it interested. If this video, if if it was you know really educative, please don't forget to share the video and also don't forget to subscribe. We got our also second channel. Please don't don't forget to subscribe to Exodus Gabon. It's also our um, our second channel. Please do make sure to subscribe to Exodus Gabon. I would love to see you guys subscribing to Exodus Gabon and videos. Got most videos like this one will be coming like every day and. On my other side here, I said goodbye and make sure you subscribe to the channel, please share the video and give this video a like, it will so, really help me and so also um, give you guys a very big so shout out to the every other person. And before I finish, finish this video, please, I want to tell you guys that for those who really think like, you know, they don't really don't want to really, they don't trust people or they can like, they need a tour guide. I also run a tour guide. We are only a tour guide, you know, like a tour guide. You're planning to come to Gabon. You can hit me up, a tour guide, or join me on Facebook on the page, same like this one. I'm Hoy. You see my number is down on, the on, on my Facebook page. You join me, contact me on, on, on that. I'll be your tour guide. I'm always ready. I run also a tour guide. Thank you so very much for watching this video to the end. I love you guys so much. More videos coming your way. I'll give a big shout out to our bro, King Shuja. Big shout out to you, bro. Okay, guys. See you guys. Our next video. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.